Ha ha! Me hearties, a very, very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClue, and we're live on the big one, the internet phone in. Once a week, nine o'clock sharp on a Saturday evening, we do random pop ups at other times in the week. But here we are on Saturday night, nine o'clock. As I say, nothing gets past me, and it's the internet phone in one hour of superb scintillating information education and entertainment, not just for one nation, but for all nations across the world who can get access to TikTok and to YouTube and to Twitch and to Facebook Live and to LinkedIn Live. If you can get access to all of these, then you are able to watch Scotty McClue. Uh, how are you, Scotty? Wally Fishcakes, how nice to have you with us, and dinky do, dinky do, Scotty, how are we? We're fine, Kareem, lovely to have you with us, and what I think I'll do, Kareem, is uh, open the phone lines right now, so I don't know if you're in a position to give us a call, but the phone lines are open, and it's always good to hear from you, so there we are, and a big dinky do to you. How's Scotty from Rhodes in Greece, says Danny. Oh! Is that Kareem? Hello, Scotty. How are we? <laughs> <laughs> how amazing are you? I don't know how you do this, but that's fantastic. <laughs> There's Alan McGee asking, Good evening, Scotty. Have you trimmed the beard? Just a wee tidy up as a mark of respect to my viewers. Uh, uh, Scotty, it's simple. The second uh, notifications come out, that's it. Because you carry your phone nearby and it just goes off. You ah, know? wonderful. I see. Excellent stuff. The notifications are the answer, Kareem. There's no doubt about it. Oh, yes. Uh, so about what comes off, the YouTube one comes off, the TikTok one comes off, um, and yes, yeah, so, and so, Facebook as well. So they all three of them notifications. Wow, so you, you get notifications off. from them all, and the TikTok notifications are nice and clear. Oh, yes, yeah. Excellent. Quite Excellent. On it and away you go. Because TikTok has just been such a wonderful resource for the program, you know? Yes, oh, absolutely, Scotty. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. How's your afternoon been? Oh, fantastic. I mean, the weather, Kareem, has just been outstanding, you know? It's been quite windy, but I, I, I actually fell asleep in the garden. Yes, well, <laughs> listen, it's not toasty warm. No, you no. know, you've, you have to wrap up. There's no doubt about that. This is funny. This guy, Alan McGee, goes, take the bonnet off, as if I'm going to take the bonnet off. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's a trademark, Scotty. It a stays on. Absolutely. <laughs> Who would take the bonnet off? Imagine Scotty McClure without his bonnet. Oh, goodness. Well, Scotty, last night when we were on, I managed to, I spoke about I got an electric radiator. Yes. Oh, yes. So, and it's, I've managed uh, I spent an hour and a half trying to connect it to the Wi-Fi. Couldn't this morning, less than five minutes, boom, away we go. Wow. You see, I think the fact that you slept on the whole thing, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. that's so, that's just wonderful. So so that's yeah. up and running now. It's up and running, but I'm, I'm, I'm being honest, Scotty, there's like, because you know I've been in my, my new house less than a year. Yes. Uh, there's quite a lot of wires, and there's some wires I can get rid of, and there's other ones I can't. Uh -huh. So I'm just being very careful. I'm actually getting rid of a wire just now in my bedroom. Um, so when you came on, I thought, oh, better give Scotty a little call. Uh, oh, absolutely. <laughs> and we've got uh, Willie Fishgate says, I'm in my bed in Brisbane, Scotty. Right, or I would ah. give you a phone. So he's in bed in Brisbane in Australia. Is that not just amazing? That's great. I absolutely love it. Absolutely, Scotty. Well, I've got nothing really political to say or anything at all. Just um, looking forward to the month of May and then the, the Jubilee at the end of the month as well. Yes, it's going to be absolutely huge. I mean, it really is tremendous. Wonderful lady, 96. Yeah. Yes, you'll get the idea, so I'll have the comments, um, as usual. Oh, yeah, listen, you're always going to get that. I mean, I actually popped up a little video today because somebody had asked me, was I a cousin of the Queen? And, of course, oh. my lot go way, way, way back, you know, uh -huh. to, uh, to Marjorie Bruce and Walter Stewart, which was the first uh -huh. of the Stuarts. All right. You All know, right. the Royal Stuart came from Stuart. And then, in uh, fact, it all starts off for my lot from the 6th century. 
Right. Okay. <laughs> now, actually, wow. everybody can trace back, but it's just quite interesting. And it was a historian that pointed this out. He says, Scotty, you're royal. I said, well, I think I think I might be, but we'll not make anything of it, you know. <laughs> you have the link, absolutely. We have the link, but no. it's a different branch. It's the old Scottish royalty. You know, yeah. but it's uh, but it's fascinating. Just the whole thing going right back to Malcolm the Third, Malcolm Canmore, and the, uh -huh. the the Queen's father, George the Sixth. He was an ans um, his ancestor was Malcolm the Second. Right. Okay. You know, right. so it's it's just just never a dull moment. Amazing. <laughs> no, it's interesting to see what your your your, your background is and um, where, where basically your roots. Yes, yes, just just interesting. I mean, it's not of any great consequence. It's just interesting. Yeah, yes, it's for the it's file it away. So well, what I'll do, Scotty, while I'm on, uh, while you're on, sorry, um, I'll have you on in the background while I'm trying to fake with these wires. Wonderful. Well, do be uh, careful, please, for goodness sake, because I don't yeah. know. You're obviously good with electricity. I'm not. I once, well, I once I'll about honest, forty I'll years ago, wired wired a light, or thought I was uh, repairing a light, and then switched it on, and there was just a shower of sparks. Oh goodness! I've got somebody coming. I've got an electrician coming on Tuesday um, about installing a plug, a new a new plug socket somewhere in the house. So I'll get a quote and and just see what he says about a few things. Right. Um, but obviously you need to watch because you know a lot of them like to add X, Y, and Z on when you don't really need it. Oh yes! <laughs> oh, absolutely, absolutely. Kareem, a joy to hear you and uh, a big dinky do to yourself. Thank you, dear. Enjoy your night, Scotty. And Thank you. Thanks, Kareem. ta -la. There we are. Phone lines are open, guys. Dinky do. Uh, Susan, nice to know you're listening. Hope you're well. There's Jerry. Fantastic. Alan, thanks for putting up the old number, but please don't because it causes confusion. You know, people say, oh, is that the number to ring? You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty, my man. It's Martin. Hello, Martin, my man. How are you? Oh, you're my man, Lala. How are you doing? You're all right, man? Lala. Yes, have you had a good day? Today's, today's been a really hot day today. Oh. Ready for the shots? Come on. Well, it's been wonderful. I don't know about hot. We had a good wee breeze going, which makes it perfect. I was very, very sunny down at Drossen, and oh, now yes. I'm up to 409 on the high road now. Oh, wow. You're getting well up. You're getting, because I had a loop today. And is it 500 and something, the last one? Ah, uh, yes. Um, the guys that have loaded his up to 409, but soon the tune will be changing to a new tune. Oh, well, I saw, I saw, uh, uh, I saw, I think, 500 today. Did you? Wow, yes. nice. Yes, so maybe I'm just on a different setup. Cool. How's your, um, how's your day been, been today? Oh, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful day. Busy, but wonderful. And we did an incredible pop up on the TikTok this morning. Thousands watching, just amazing. You know, absolutely yeah. amazing. It just is. It just blows your mind. Yes. Fantastic. And here's somebody in Brisbane. There's Mummy Paws. Good evening, young Hello. Scotty. Uh, Gorbel's boy on. Are you are you from Medway? Isn't that nice? Are you from Medway? Yeah. And who else have we got? Uh, Doogie's there, fantastic. Kareem, oh, wonderful. They're all there. I mean, it's just amazing. There's Big Daddy. Uh, I love it. No idea what this is, but I'm no leaving. You're quite right, Daryl. This is the one for you. Scotty McClure's phone in on the internet right across the world. So there we go, Martin. How, how are you keeping? How are you and Emma? Emma's getting on well. Emma's getting a bit better. She's still... She's rolling in a boys band. Emma did, did um, Emma, <coughs> Emma did some baking today. She cooked um, salty caramel cakes today. Oh, salty caramel cakes. Stop, Martin. <laughs> Scotty, what kind of cakes did um, you make? So what's your favourite cake you, you Oh, like very you light. I'm not, I'm not big in the baking because my mother was a tremendous baker and she used to make sponges so big you couldn't get them in your mouth. Oh, did you did you did you remember the um the wee cake at um, school the, the, the wee, cake with the wee the wee fairy um, cakes the wee fairy cakes 
And, ah, you, put, and you put the two wee wings the into the butter icing. Yes, lovely. Oh, that was nice. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Pop them in the oven. Are you a great baker yourself, Martin? Yes, I am. Um, I'm a baker and Gem's a baker as well, but Emma's going to bake me some other foods like um, homemade lasagna and cottage pie and all that. Oh, like. lovely. Now stop, stop. I'm getting too hungry. Listen, lovely That's to right, hear you. And uh, we'll say yeah. a big dinky do to you both. Yes, yeah. thank you, thank you, dear. Thank you, dear lad. Top man. Love you lots. That's yeah. our Martin. So there you are. What a guy. Uh, do you know if Mr. A.B. is still alive, Scotty? I don't, Alan. I remember Mr. A.B. Great comedian. Very funny guy. Hi from Barbados, from an ex East Coast bride boy. Wow. Daryl, thank you for following. That is absolutely tremendous. All good to you, Susan, and yourself. Lovely, absolutely. Okay, uh, Suzanne, there having a wee chat. Robert says, a wee homemade scone. You can't beat a wee homemade scone, I always say. Let's have a discussion about what's your favourite baking, what's your favourite confectionery. Do tell, I say, that would be wonderful. That's what we'll have a look at tonight. What sort of things do you like? What about the Scottish clouty dumpling? Boiled up in the cloth of the clout, as we used to call it. The clouty dumpling. Fantastic stuff. Let us know what you think about that, guys. Tatty scones, Robert. The tatty scone. Uh, apparently, it's quite the done thing to put a tatty scone in a roll. Now, I... <clears throat> I find that one a bit strange, but apparently it is the done thing. You can stick a tatty scone in a row. Right, can everybody follow us? And lots of likes, please. If you're watching on TikTok, tap, 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 as soon as you possibly can. What about tripe and onions? Do you like tripe and onions, Alan? I've never, ever eaten it, <clears throat> but I have heard of it. Wally says it's so good. To hear a pure Scottish accent. I've been here 10 years. It's refreshing. Well, Wally, don't you worry. Because uh, Brisbane, I think, was called after Lord Brisbane. And you've got Brisbane in Largs. And Brisbane Street in Greenock. So it's all that sort of stuff. Uh, so there we are. Allen's into tripe and onions. Anybody else tried tripe? Do tell us and see what's what. That's what it's all about. And I've also got my down under hat they're going to put on for you, Wally. I think I've got it. Yes, I've got my down under hat here, my jackaroo. Indian curry or Chinese curry? Both, Alan. They're both fabulous. I quite like the Chinese chicken curry. Nice, uh, nice stuff there. So I'm very fond of that, I have to say. These are great foodstuffs. Uh, right, what's uh, happening? Tripe is awful, says JD. Well, it is awful, isn't it? It's what you call awful. Off to the telephones. Let's see what's going on here, I ask you. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? What do you mean, you're live on Scottish phone and who's that, Scotty? I should be saying you're live on Scottish phone and who are you? No, 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 never. I'm fine, thanks. Who's your sale? Ah! Well, we do you think it is? It's me, my No, but we don't know that. We ones. have to ask. It's the right way to go about it. Uh, Scotty, I'm using somebody else's telephone. All ah, right. Oh, you better not be long then. Do you want me to cut you off? No, don't. No, no, yeah. No, no, no. No, right. Now, what are you saying to Numpty Heat? Well, I've got a lot of rubbish to talk about. Well, let's get down to it then, man. You know, we haven't got all night. Well, that's not my fault. It's your fault because you're only on for an hour. Well, we've only got an hour, actually. You've no idea well, how no, busy no. I am. No, no, it's quite, it's quite. If I was you, I'd do three years. Three years. Well, we might get round to that at some point. But it's not a possibility right at the moment. But I think it's something that should be looked at. Aye. <coughs> yes. Aye. Now, listen, I'm worried about my tea bags. Your tea bags? Did you not say you got oh. a thousand for a pound or something? No, no, I had a hundred and six left, but I forgot to buy me. Eh? Well, I think you'll be. Oh, I think right. you'll get through the night. Aye, but I'm doing eighty. 
Ja, danke ich, die T-Max. Oh. Oh, no, don't you panic, don't you panic, it's not a problem. There's Chris Grant. Good evening, Scotty. Hope you're doing well. Hi, how are you, says Sandy? Fantastic, guys. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do. Now then, well, not to hit. I'm doing a caravan, Scotty. Oh, that's what it is. So you'll be miles for the shops. And I, I, four miles for the shop. I, I you're a walk. bit away from the shop. I think you'll be all right. Uh, I'm sure 80 cups of tea will get you to the morning because you'll be oh, up in yeah. the night. I'd prefer 80 cups of something else. I'm sure you would. There's Chris Grant <laughs> sending me mini speakers and he sent me 40 mini speakers. Is that not amazing? Fantastic, Scott. Well, Julia's here and she's sending you love. Oh, did you do? Bless Julia, I say. That she's an angel and she looks after she, you. So she's a she's saint. No she's no one angel. She's an angel and, and she's a saint for looking after you. No, she's terrible. Why don't you go out and get more tea bags and Julia will hold the fort? Well, absolutely. And then, I've been having another. Um, you know, my, my corned beef tin. Yeah, your corned beef tin, and, and you'd run and out of keys. keys. You'd lost the keys. Right. Well, I've got another problem. What's happened? It's the steak pies that come in the tin. Oh, I know the one, yes. So you're, you're, right. you're having a job getting the lid off them. I'm fighting with, them, with screwdrivers and... No, hammers. no, 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 no. Just listen, that, listen. Just get the lid off, Scotty. No, no, listen to this. There's a new type of tin opener that takes the whole top off. Lovely. Sure? Yes, just watch yourself, though, because obviously that leaves a big, round, sharp edge. Okay. So you have a look. They know that, dear. They're usually in heavy plastic now. Mind they used to be the wee metal ones, and they just cut Aye. round and took the inner lid off. This takes the rim off the whole lot. Scotty. That cost $19.99. Well, it might be that's the thing. If you hadn't spent all your money subsidising Scotty McClure's phone in at the start. Or my tea bags. I will maybe have to get you a wee bit money back. Absolutely. We'll I'm get... fed up throwing out these tins because the, if you can't get the lid off, we'll need to get you your change. Them in the oven. We'll have to get you your change back. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyway, can I say hello to everybody that kens me? Yeah, everybody kens you. So that's a lot of people you're saying hello to. Oh, you better believe it. <laughs> you know, all the people in, in uh, Australia, they ken me. Ken. The people in America ken me. Ken. The people in Argentina ken me. Ken. Uh, everywhere else, of course, the Del Sol. Ken. There we go. Here's a guy Hi. called Scottish Travel. What do you think of this? Why is it always the same folk that phone? Well, Scottish Travel, have you phoned? Ah, uh, and I've no phone for three weeks. And so you have no phone, so it's not the same folk that phone, so he's got that wrong. Aye. Right. Anyway, can I give my love to uh, everybody in the chat room? You can, and think you do, Lala. Right, cut me off then. Well, you're away. <laughs> Fantastic. So, Scottish Travel, you get ringing and never mind. Why is it the same folk that phone? Why don't you widen the net? That's what we're talking about. I asked for the number and you ignored that. No, I was talking to somebody. I didn't ignore it. And the number is 0141-628-9795. Get ringing, I say. 628 9795 with 0141 in front of it. So we didn't ignore it, Scottish Travel. You need to get phony. And less of the cheeking up, I say to you. Dinky do from Washington, from Wilmington. Sorry, in NC. Thank you, Larry. Lovely to have you with us from Wilmington. I thought you said Washington. Snappy phone line. Do you like that one, Scottish Travel? You get on to that 0141628. Nine seven nine five. We await your call as we speak. Fantastic, thank you. Dear. Lots and lots of reaction from you guys. We'll just see what's happening on the chat here. Uh, what have we got here? Here we go. Wonderful stuff. 
Honeycomb tripe, says Streaky Bacon. A Victorian sandwich with cream and jam. I don't think it's a Victorian sandwich, Susan, is it not? A Victoria sandwich. Victoria sponge. Get back on 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Well, the only thing is, Alan, I start work in the morning at about 7 o'clock. So, you know, you would start to wear yourself out very quickly. You don't publish the number enough Scottish travel. I can't publish the number on TikTok. I can't because they think it's a private number. Their bot thinks it's a private number and takes it down. You see? So it's very difficult to explain, so I can't put it in the bio. I've tried, and what they do is they just negate the whole bio and say, oh, that you can't change that bio now for a day. You tried to put a number up. That's of idea, but you'll see it on the YouTube channel. You'll see it on the Facebook Live. You'll see it on the LinkedIn Live, and you'll see it on Twitch at Scotty underscore McClure. What more are you wanting? You're an awful man for complaining, but not realizing what's involved. So there you are. Did you do, I say. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's Alan Scott. Do I have some tripe and onions, Scotty? Tripe and onions. Are you big on the tripe and onions then? Scotty, I've never tried it. My granny used to eat it years ago and it absolutely stunk. Oh, well, there you are. Well, you're another man. You're putting it up here as if you're suggesting everybody should try it. <laughs> and asking, what's this we're asking me to take my bonnet off? Scotty, Scotty, come on. I've seen one photo on the Facebook uh -huh. with the bonnet off. With a baldy head. Um, with a baldy napper. That's it. Well, we don't want the baldy napper. That's a and turn I off. That. And I think the photo was maybe... Was it maybe Ash Wednesday and you were getting ashes yes, on the heat? That's it. We got the ashes on the heat. Aye, absolutely fantastic. Uh, so, on, on a more serious note, Scotty, when are you coming back on here? Well, it's it should be happening on a limited fashion very soon. There are discussions going on, as, it, as I think I said to you, at a very high level, and they're mm. doing very, very well. So, there's a lot of excitement about McClure coming back, but I think we'd start off with, say, one night and what we're trying to do is include the one night in what we're doing right now so that means all of us would still be able to get together but we'd obviously have a change of number for that night no the number that i put up no no the number no that's the old scott fm you're a rascal too for putting that up because what we're going oh there's the number there and they'll be trying to phone that <laughs> You're an awful man. I don't know what to do with you at all. Trying to change uh, everything around. But the thing is, Scott, I mean, you say you're going to go, is this going to be on like a, a, a local station? Well, it's, it's a huge regional station, but you'll be able to get it on the internet and you'll be able to get it on your smart speakers and uh, yeah, Alexa and yeah, all that stuff. Can, can, can you get in the clan in the water? You should be able to. It's it's digital. Right. You see, that's the way things are going now. But to be honest with you, the UK being the UK, we're very slow on the uptake. Digital's been about for 30 years. And they know the benefits oh. of it. But uh, And, of course, FM is a tremendous way to listen. Right, well, one thing, Scott, let's think back to the 80s. Remember, it used to be Radio Clyde, but what is, was it Radio Clyde 252? Uh, no, 261. 261. What was yeah. that? What was the 261 about? 261 was 261 metres on the medium wave, the AM. Right. So that's why, but in those days, everything was on the AM. So you put up with a wee bit of shh, shh, shh in the background. And then FM, which was VHF, was usually used by things like airlines and the police and all that sort of stuff so nobody really went to vhf and then they went on to vhf and that became fm high frequency radio and of course fm is outstanding if you remember the signals on scott fm they were brilliant <clears throat> and it's very difficult no matter how good a presenter you are to get an audience interested in something that isn't of top quality uh, because when I used to listen to it, it used to be 100.3. 100.3 was Scott FM or 101.1. Mm -hmm. I think if you lived in the, 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 the north side of the water, it was, 
That's right. 100.3. That's right, 100.3. And it was fantastic. There were two huge transmitters, and they were brilliant. Um, and the station was crystal clear right across central Scotland and beyond. Why do they call them the Black Hill transmitters? Were they actually in Black Hill? Yes. There's two. There's, it, it, if you remember when you were driving on the motorway, there was one on one side and a few seconds later one on the other side. The one on the, uh, if you say you were going to Edinburgh from Glasgow, the one on your left is Black Hill. That was commercial radio transmitter, commercial television, STV. The one on the right was the BBC's Kirko Shots transmitter. And there's a wee church at Shots. You'll see it right out in the middle of the countryside. And oh, yeah. um, that wee church was where they did one of the first songs of praise right beside the transmitter. Oh, right, you see, so there you are. So one was the BBC. I think they're now run and perhaps owned by the same group now uh, on behalf of the stations. So the transmitters, the stations thought, let's just, you know, let our transmitters out to the experts because uh -huh. it's a nightmare for a company if you have problems with the transmitter. But nowadays you don't really because... They're kind of uh, pretty much solid state. They just sit and behave themselves most of the time. Right. And obviously, going back to obviously when you do come back on the airwaves, um, do you think, are you going to appeal to the bigger audience? No, oh, yes. Or is it going to appeal to the audience of Scott FM where we attracted everybody? Is it going to, is it going to have the same effect? I think, it, well, hopefully it'll have the same effect, but I mean, it's difficult to know if it'll have the same effect as Scott FM because nobody had ever done it. Since then, we've had one or two Scotty McClue attempts at sound the likes. Mm. You know, and but to be honest... But the thing is, but the thing is, sorry to interrupt you, but the thing is, no. you, 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 you go back to the Scott FM days again that we were spoken about previously, you know, quarter of a million calls every half hour or whatever, you know... Quarter of a million listeners every half hour, 460,000 calls in the week. I mean, do you think you could get back up to that, say, calibre of calls? Or, or I mean, people like myself who have been listening to you, you know, for 30 years. Yes. You know, I remember, I mean, I remember all them. I, I remember those calls. I remember every single night, Sunday to Thursday, 10 to 1, as I, as I always put up. Well, the calls um, were outstanding because what we did with the calls was either it was a serious call, a genuine call, a funny call, a wind-up call, all sorts of things. And when I used to get annoyed at people saying, I, I think that was maybe a plant call, they were very, very, very few and far between. So the calls were coming just off the street, so to speak. Mm. You see, and the very fact that that was happening was what made the show so much fun. The thing is, you didn't know what your next call was going to be. One minute you've got a guy, you know, all right, Scotty, then screaming on the phone, and then you've got somebody on telling you their life problems. Yeah, absolutely. You've got, the, you've got that sort of stuff. You know, I can remember being on a program on BBC Radio 4, and a guy was attacking me. He said, you don't have a support network. You're not a professional counsellor. And I said, no, but if we've saved one life, then it's worth doing, and we've saved many and that just sorted him out. I think he was annoyed with me for saying it. <laughs> you know, and, and, and it's true. Do you not remember a guy came on one night and he said he was thinking in taking his life. We talked to him for a while and I said, will you excuse me until after the commercial break? We had to, we had to take the breaks on time. And because uh, the advertisers had paid, otherwise you have no radio station. And um, and he was there for me when we got back. I said to him, "Don't don't don't you dare go anywhere. I'll be back to you in two minutes." But do you think a new say talk show talking would be as successful? Uh, Square FM. I mean, uh, well, absolutely. Scott FM was the finest hour on the whole history of Scottish oh, no, radio. It was, it was the best, you know, days of again growing up. As I said to you previously, you know, I used to lie and listen to you every night. But say, if you do a, a new talk on the radio, you know, 
Is it going to be a daytime? You know, it's a different audience. No, you know, it'll be, this one will be a night time. Probably you know, 10 to like midnight. <laughs> you see, the, the, the only thing you're up against, remember, see, when I started on Scott FM, there was no internet to speak of. Virtually uh, nobody had a mobile phone worth talking about. Uh, so you you were one of the big sources of entertainment. Uh, now, the thing is, you look at the time people spend on their phones. Because there's so much media, you look how their concentration levels have plummeted and they're happy with wow. things 10 seconds long. Uh, so uh, would they uh, get through a three-hour phone-in the way you and I did? Probably not, because you probably listen to go like that. I'll turn this off. just know YouTube uh, are too busy doing TikToks or are too busy doing this and the next thing. Yes. You know, you'll probably find that, you know, you will... You will appeal. You will appeal to a certain audience. I mean, I'll certainly listen to you, definitely. But as I say, here's I this. Here, and, shall uh, I dump this halfway Scottish travel here? I should. He's <laughs> he's just <laughs> said no radio station will have him. <laughs> he's going. You're not. You're done. What kind of halfway goes on like that, Jeremy? Shall I dump him? <sighs> Aye, dump him, Scotty. <laughs> right, he's raging because no radio station will have him. I'm not raging at all, Scottish travel. I'm going out right round the world right now. What a half wit. I mean, you're always going to get the wee jealous ones, aren't you? This guy thinks he's relevant. I think we'll dump this guy. Yeah, Scott, guys, Scottish travels away doing the Swanee for being a half witted idiot. Here he goes. IQ of one. Bye bye. <laughs> so, so when the time comes, Scotty, that you do get the new show, I mean, what is it? Uh, is it going to be as late as Scott FM, ten to midnight? Uh, yeah, I think we'll do, I think we'll do ten to midnight just to see how it goes. So you're dipping a toe in the water because remember, I'm also aiming this at a new audience. Some of whom have never see when I started on TikTok and YouTube and all that. People are going, sorry, who are you? Are you, I? You see, now they wouldn't have asked that in Scott FM days. Oh, no, absolutely not. You know, they no. just couldn't get enough of it. And the half witted idiots that got rid of Scott FM, I don't know what they were playing at. Do you know what maybe think they were saying? Well, um, so, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm certainly not saying this out of turn, Scott, but do you think they're maybe saying Scott and McClure is getting bigger than Scott FM? Well, yes, but I mean, why would you do that? I mean, there's no doubt that it was very big, and there used to be sayings, no one's bigger than the station, but that's just not the case. Of course. I mean, you look at Terry Wogan on Radio 2. Now, Radio 2 had a fabulous lineup. Ray Moore in the morning. They'd been around for a long time. X Radio 1 guys. Uh, Terry Wogan, Ken Bruce, Jimmy Young, all these people, Judith Chalmers. These people had been around for years. Gloria Honeyford. They've been around for uh, years. Gloria Hunniford's in uh, her 80th year. Because when you found that when you finished up, so, so see, see when we found Bob come on the scene? Yes. Did, was that when you went on to days? Like yes. Like the 10 to 12? Yes, he took right. over the night times. So he took over the night time, right? But he was more like, it was more like an agony uncle. You know, it yes. was like, it was a totally, to me, I, I still did listen to him. Because I was like, used to listen to the show, but it's as if it was a, trying to appeal to a different type of audience. Well, yes, he would more. do, because I never put up with any nonsense. He would put up with any um, amount of it. <sighs> and I think I, that's the difference. I think one of the reasons everybody loved listening to Scotty McClure was because we didn't take any prisoners, you know what I mean? We didn't keep them. No, but the thing is, that's why you, that's why you got hundreds of thousands of calls a week. So the dafties went right away and everybody came on, give me a shot. Aye. You know, I mean, there was your time, as you, say, as you mentioned earlier, the guy who was still suicidal. You know, you go, you go for that. Well, that's, that's a genuine you know. call, yes. That's a genuine call, so you do that, you know. You know. I, mean, you, I mean, you go for that to some idiot screaming down the phone, yelling and... Blah, blah, blah. You know, so it went from A to B. You didn't even know what your match caller was. No, you didn't. And that's why, Alan, when somebody said to me, you must do a terrific amount of preparation for that show. I said, I don't do any because you can't. 
you don't know what's coming next. And I, I didn't know what was coming next. And I didn't know what was coming next from me. <laughs> so you're actually flying blind with your with your pants on fire. Mm, I know, but the thing is, you know, it's definitely because I mean, you are missing. I, mean, I can talk personally, Scott. You are missing the radio. You know, I think would your show be as successful as Scott FM? I'd like it to be, but in your personal opinion, do you think you attract the same audience? Can obviously right. Well, I can only I can then? only answer that by saying a very very senior media person. I asked him outright. I said, if I went on tonight. Do you think my audience would come back? And his answer was instant. Aye. That's what he said. He responded immediately without even thinking, and he said instant. <clears throat> now that's coming right from the top. As I said, I, I, as you've said previously, Scotty, whenever McCall is, they've got the monopoly. They've got, the, well, they've got the monopoly as a radio station. But the problem is there's so much media out there and that's going to fragment your audience. But if you're good enough, the audience will come to you. They will leave the other stuff. But they do need to know about you. And that involves a terrific PR campaign. Now, you see, Scott FM was owned by two ITV stations, eventually one, right? But these were ITV stations and... They were. They had huge influence in the media markets, you know, and that's your difference. Whereas I know what it's like trying to start small radio stations and get the message out there. But your greatest tool is yourself. The fact that you've got the radio station and you're on the radio. If you start pumping out really good stuff, folk will find you, build, and they will come. Mm. But what was your very first, what, what was it, can you remember the very first day you sat in a studio and your very first radio job? Yes. And when was that? Oh no, that was way before, I mean we're talking in the 80s. Was that before or after you read the news? Uh, that was after I read the news. <laughs> so uh, when did you start reading the news? Started reading the news 1984 for ITV. Oh, was it ITV or was it STV? <laughs> well, no, I came back to STV. I started off with Grampian Television in Aberdeen, Border Television in Carlisle, and then um, up to STV. So were you not working with Border at the time that I worked with Border? You were in Border, weren't you? Uh, yes, but just I, I was doing more work for STV, but I phoned them on the morning to say could I help them out with stuff. And the head of news at the time said everybody was wanting facilities. Uh, you see, because the whole of the world's media descended on Lockerbie, obviously, and therefore they want to know where can we edit this stuff. Nowadays it would be different because you have your devices, you would be using the internet, so you could have done everything from the fields. But did you actually, have you actually been to the site of where it happened, like the memorial? Have yes. you been there? Yes. I have friends that live round there, and one of them phoned to say, I can't, I can't go out. There are bodies everywhere. And I was actually watching the tell. I was going round. I'll tell you what I was going to do. I was going on to a Christmas party on the BBC. And I was waiting for a friend to come round because he was, we were both going together. And he came round to my flat in Glasgow and I said, hey, do we need to go? He went, no, we've got time, son. He says, we don't need to be out till about nine. So I said, oh, well, we'll have a wee cup of tea. So I made the tea and we sat down with, my mother was in and one of our, uh, one of our relatives was in as well. And uh, we, we were having a great chat. And uh, then a news flash came up on the telly uh -huh. and it, it said what had happened. And my friend, who's a journalist, turned to me and he said, that's a bomb. I said, do you think so? He went, oh, yes, almost certainly. So he just kind of, so I was with something of an expert right there. And then, then he said, we better get round to the BBC because this will have changed things. And sure enough, the producer, a very well-known producer, came round and he said, the party's off, guys, obviously. 
and we stayed in the BBC and watched everything coming in. So is this the BBC, the BBC down at where the Botanic Gardens is? Yes, Queen Margaret right. Drive. Queen Margaret Drive. Yeah, and we were going round to a Christmas party at the time. The Christmas party on uh -huh. air. We were going on air. Mm. And uh, and the whole thing, obviously, and then just the newsrooms, everything. Wow. Journalists started arriving, uh, you know, and and I, so I actually uh, just by sheer chance was able to um, see the whole thing unfold. Right. So when was the last time you read the news? Then when did you find these news? Uh, Nineteen eighty-nine. Would you ever do that again? Yes. I'd actually like to I'd actually like to try. I'd need to take the beard off probably, but just one night on the telly. Just to see uh, to ensure I've still got it and to see how the public reacted. Would you take the bonnet off? Oh you'd have to take the bonnet off. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'd be you think I'd be shot back Yes, I oh, well we've got a wee shot back sides. And a wee shot top as well. You know, that's what you should do is get a job on. Get a, get, go and sit on the sofa with Phil, um, Philip and put some then. Holly, go and sit on the sofa and you, you soon shake them up. <laughs> Fantastic. Listen, lovely talking to you. I better dash because people are going bananas here. <laughs> Scotty, I'll talk to you so you take care, all right? I, I think you do. Lovely to hear you. Sarala! Top man! See you, Alan. There we are. Excellent stuff. Busy, busy tonight. You live on Scotty's phone in? Who's that? Hello, Scotty. Hello, who's that? Uh, it's, the, it's the big man. Big, who's the big man? Uh, it's me. No, no, I give my name, my, my name out in case, you know. No, you just, you just need to give me a first name. Uh, Harry. Harry. Right, Harry. What yeah. can I do for you? Um, well, uh, the, that guy before him, he, he was talking quite a lot. He was talking quite a lot. Um, he was talking a lot. That's, that's what my friend Connor says. But I thought my friend Connor was a wee bit rude. A wee bit rude, absolutely. You live in Scottish one in, who's that? Hello. 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 How are you? Can, what, you can you turn the background down? How's that? That's better. Who is it, sorry? It's Jerry. Oh, Jerry. How are you, lad? Hi, <laughs> good. Very good. How are I, you? I couldn't hear you there for the shouting and bawling going out in the background. Aye, uh, it's me and my, my wee Jack. My wee Jack Russell. Ah, uh, your wee Jack Russell there. Lovely. <laughs> how, how are you keeping, Jerry? How's things? Very good. Very good. Really good. We've had a couple of real numpty heads on tonight. That Scottish travel wow. was some zunker. I see on, uh, you know, on YouTube, was it? No, I, no, I, it just uh, it was on uh, TikTok with the Green Eyed Monster. Uh, uh, tell you speak about the Green Eyed Monster. I don't know why it's very interesting. People like to do that. They go, "Aye, he's done. He's finished. He's an old guy." They don't say that to the heating engineer. So, so it's like, I, I remember an old director we had when I was working in the theatre, and he said, uh, people ask me, what did I do? I say, I'm an actor. They go, oh, well, I've, I've never actually heard of you. He said, they don't say that to the doctor or the minister, you know. <laughs> That's right. Um, see, you were talking earlier, things uh, way back in the 90s, is it? Yes. When Scott FM... Now, uh, but things have changed since then because you've got talk radio yes. and you've got Radio 5 Live yes. and now Piers Morgan with Talk TV yes. and they're all English-based, of course. Yes, of course. So that's uh, no use yeah. to the people of Scotland. I know. So, we move on to Radio 4. Do you remember the programme they had on a Saturday night after uh, two? Yes, was that with uh, Father Andy? Aye, 
Yeah. I I found that a bit depressing. Did you ever listen to it? I did listen to it, uh, and I mean, uh, Andy was very, very good, but it was very, very down stuff. Oh, you know, wonder. things like uh, I've got my girlfriend pregnant, and she's wanting a termination. What should we oh, do? Yeah. You know, and all oh, this yeah. sort of stuff, and that. That you couldn't have that now, I don't think, because people are depressed with everything that's going on in the world. So they're needing mm. something quite jolly. Aye, that's it. Jolly. The, the Reverend, I am jolly. I am jolly, yes, absolutely. <laughs> started off, that started off, Jerry, as the Reverend David Goodchild. Right, I don't remember that. Yeah, that was his. Well, you know the one with David Heyman as the floor manager? Aye, right, yeah. well, that's the Reverend David Goodchild. And then Aye. that metamorphosed, there's a word for you, into <laughs> the Reverend I am Jolly. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's why I say that uh, when I mentioned it was quite FM, of course, a long time ago with the cell and the amount of listeners you had, but English, the English uh, top radio and the other team down there in England, they're uh, out sacking and bringing in new names and new faces. But um, it's a shame that Scotland don't have... Well, Scotland's know, lost its media by stealth. So there's virtually no Scottish media. You've got things like Central FM Radio and uh, Kingdom Radio and Five, uh, I think, is another one. Uh, there's, so there's one or two stations, but the bulk of them are either owned by somebody from Germany or somebody from London. That's right. And even the presenters are getting changed. I just heard that, uh, was it uh, Smooth FM, one of the Scottish presenters? He's getting moved. So it's a, bit, it's a shame. Well, yes, because people like what they like. And, uh, uh, you know, we had something really, really, really special going with the, uh, with the Scotty McLuhan Nightline. And for uh, some reason, somebody came in and just got rid of it. I know that it was posing a serious threat to other stations. And, uh, you, you know, you really need to be very, very strong as a, uh, as a boss to say, no, we don't mind. We're keeping Scotty. Uh, then the guy earlier was speaking about wee fat Bob. I vaguely remember him as well. Yes, vaguely. yes. He took over uh, the night times when I went on to mornings. Did he last? Uh, oh yes, I mean I think I think he did about oh maybe another four years after I left. Oh, right. Yeah, right. but uh, uh, but it, 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 don't think it was something that really you know you'd have thought I must make an appointment to listen. <laughs> uh, because you were different because people were speaking about you in the street. You well, know, I was uh, I was an appointment to listen. So you, if somebody's uh, tuned into you on the radio, Jerry, it's because they definitely want to hear that. Ah, uh, but there's people in the street saying, "Have uh, uh, you heard the story on the FM? Look at that Scottish FM, by the way." That's right, that Scottish FM, by the way. He's shocking. <laughs> shock jock. Shock jock. That is what they were calling it. Wonderful I'll stuff. Enjoy your Oh, yes, all the nonsense of the day. Jerry, I'm going to have to dash. The callers are going berserk. Ah, uh, that's good. Hopefully you'll hear more. Thanks again. You take care of you, Jerry. Top man. That's our Jerry. What a nice guy. Uh, a Victorian sandwich with jam and cream. We love that. Always look forward to listening to Scotty. Always learn something. Hope you'll be on the internet for years to come. Whoever has McClure as the market says, Kirsty, you make radio stations, Scotty. Thank you, Suzanne. Who's this? You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Andy Fiver, Scotty. Andy, how lovely to hear from you. Dink you do. Oh, bro, you dink you do. I had to phone you right because I just heard a great thing happened on the TV. Uh huh. The demise of the monarchy. Oh, that'll be the day. Oh, we don't want that. <laughs> no chance. Right, you're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Rob, how you doing, big man? Are you dinky do? I need to make, I need to make, I need to make us, I need to make us quick. So I want to watch the boxing right? Go on, Rob. Go on, lad. Two, two quick questions. Right? You see that Kareem? Yes. He, 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 he just put me in a coma, right? Cause he just born, right? And how do you mean I'm boring? The man's highly intelligent, Rob, and you're highly intelligent. I know my bachelor said he's born, but anyway, but what, what I'm going to say is, Scotty. She, she 
or he's like bottles of water. Yeah. You get out, out the shops and that. Yes. Right. And knocking through the mountains and the yeah, yeah, that's and right. All the stones and all that. The mountain know, streams, yeah. And, and they're all filtered. Yeah. Right. Have you ever looked? Have you ever looked at the bottles of water? How's the date on them? I absolutely have got to keep an eye on the date. Good man, Rab. Hey, enjoy the boxing lab. Here we go, sir. Oh, my goodness, I don't know who that was. Right, follow us as soon as you can, guys. Hello, Scott, it's been a while. Charlie, hello from Germany. Maximus, how lovely to have you with us from Germany. Nicht Deutsche sprechen, ich bin ein Ausländer. Nicht verstehen. You're live in Scottish phone in, who's that? Hello? Oh, Sandy Frybrooks, you hung up on me, mate. Who hung up on who? You hung up on Andy Frybrooks. Aye, because you'd said about the demise of the monarchy, we don't want that. All right, I was just discussing things that happened on the TV the other day, but the Duke of Wessex still out in Grenada and stuff like that. Aye, all that stuff, yeah, but we don't want the demise of the monarchy, and the heavens above, we've oh, enough no, trouble I, I, with I, Brexit. I was trying to debate it with you, stuff like that, because it's... Um, what you call it, slave trade in Grenada and stuff, but that's a bit deeper this time around. Aye, oh no, we don't want to go back to the slave trade, you know. Oh, but I found out what Potty Heath was made out of the sheep seed uh, The sheep seed, excellent, Andy, yes, indeed. There we go. I, 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 I talk, but if you want to talk about the monarchy, I'm the man you need to debate it with. Yeah, you can debate it any time, but we'll certainly not be demising it. No, because I won't hang up you. No. You know you're wrong. Eh? I won't hang up you even though you're wrong. I'm never wrong. I could tell you all okay. about it. Do you know anything well, about the monarchy? Yeah, I, I know a lot about the right, monarchy. Go on. Like, why, why, why don't you spill? Why don't you spill? Do you know, do you know what the purpose of the monarchy is? Yeah, to only see No, 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 no. You see, that's where you've had your head stuffed with junk. No, how did they buy the seabed off his going? That's not a question of buy the seabed, right? Do you want to do you want to run the seabed? Uh, no, I think the seabed should just be like the seabed and nobody owns it. What do you mean nobody owns it? Somebody's got to maintain all these things. No, no, no. The seabed is a seabed. It's anyway, nature. that's nothing to do with it. I mean, what is the purpose of the monarchy? There's no purpose. Of course there's a purpose. Because the the curators, the listen. Curator and custodian of the crown. The crown is our symbol of authority. No, 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 no. Yes, she yes, yes. No, no, no. Andy, listen. Andy, listen. Listen. If you're going to debate, you need to acknowledge facts, and I'm giving no, you no, no. facts. Well, All your well, stuff's need, just made up. You need to acknowledge. We go to evolve. We're not bees. We don't need a queen. We don't need the hive. No, no. You need all of that. Otherwise, where no, would you be? We don't. Yes, we do, and I'll tell you. See if see if they try to go for independence without the monarchy as head of state. That'll just founder. No, I reckon that'll be a boost. That'll so never, ever, ever, ever be a boost. Monarchy. That's why we lost the last time. No, we lost yes. the last time through cheating. No, no, we lost the last time because fifty percent of the vote are at least fifty percent are pro monarchy, and they weren't up for it. No, no. Yes, no, yes, yes. So there you are. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm giving you facts here. You need to start learning from me. Do you know what Tony Benn said about the monarchy? I've known everything Tony Benn said, but right, what, what did they say there? But it's the like, thing is, it's back centuries now. It's just like a gangster. No, no, no. That's all gone now. We need that. Because the crown is our symbol of authority, same as the stars and stripes in America. No, no. Yes, I, I, listen. I what do you mean, no, no, no? I'm giving you the facts here. You're not giving me facts. Of course, I'm the well. If you're not listening, then I can't help you. Right, there we are. He's away. Uh, I always look forward to listening to Scott. He says, Frank in Australia. Uh, well said, Suzanne. Says, Susan, get the bun off and the buns out. Why are you doing it? The fresh weatherman for STV. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, Scotty. This is David. David, how are you, lad? Hey, I'm all right. How are you, Scotty? Very well. Nice to hear you. Uh, my son, uh, my son, Jill, hey, what, he used to go to a uh, school that you went to. 
uh, used to teach drama. Right, well, to... listen, I'm not going to go into that on the radio because this is an international show. Yeah, but that... Yes, so there we are. But good stuff, good to hear you, and thank you for that. Um, we don't watch the TV anymore. It's rubbish. Uh, so there you are. I never watch any of it. Radio is the stuff. Right, here we go to you. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Uh, this is this, Michael. Michael, dinky do. Um, can my son JP get a shout out if that's okay? Of course he can. A big shout out to JB. No problem at all, Michael. But oh, I just. Oh, it's like JPT. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, no problem at all. There we are. Fantastic. Uh, Scotty can't go wrong if he's on the radio. Fantastic stuff. I've not watched TV since 2017. Uh, Paisley FM's a good radio station, says Neil. Well, yes, so I believe Neil. Uh, Streaky, I couldn't tell you what's on these days. So there you are. Incredible. Hello. How are you getting on, Scotty? Dinky do. Lola has followed. Thank you very much. Uh, the Queen is a dinosaur. No, the Queen is not a dinosaur. She is our curator and custodian of the crown. There we are. People need to get their education. Uh, I can tell you. Down within the ref, says user. Yes, indeed. And uh, now what do we got here? Uh, oh, dear. Charlie, that's terrible. You can't come out with that kind of stuff. We'll have to dump you for that. That's shocking. There we are. Right, there we go. No problem at all. And the same with you, Dan. You can't come out with that nonsense on here. There we are. Uh, now, uh, what else have we got? God save the Queen, says Angela. Absolutely, Angela. God save the Queen, I say. Who have we got here? You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? This is Connor. That's Connor Bonds. Um, I'd, just like, I'd just like to hear your thoughts on the boxing. I'm not watching the boxing at the moment because we're doing a live show, so I couldn't tell you. There we are. A good lady, of course we need the monarchy, says Lola. Absolutely, Lola. Fantastic stuff. Now, there you go. <clears throat> busy show, Suzanne. Very busy tonight. Uh, good night, Scotty, Suzanne and Jerry. Sleep well. We'll talk next week. Night, night. Jerry, it's a good station. There we are. I'm quite sure. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty, um, what's your thoughts on the politics right now? <clears throat> I think that I've never seen British politics so poor. Yes, I agree with that. So there we are. Never seen British politics so poor, I have to say. There we are. Um, what do we got here? A bit of GB news in the morning, says Tad. Good night, Kareem. Sleep well, says Susan. Now, who have we got here? Derek has just joined us. Guys, if you're just joining us on the TikTok, please get following and get subscribing on the YouTube. Of course, very, very important. Now then. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Scotty. Yes. Um, it's quite hard to say, really. But, I don't know how to say this. But my, my, my friend, right, he, he, he disagrees with a lot of what you say, and I don't know why. But I don't know why. You, he says something what you say is it's wrong and it's rude. But I don't, I don't see how. No, it's not. I don't know where he's got that from. I, I don't know. Maybe it's because on your YouTube, some of the, some of the other videos, when, like, also you, that, I think there was a woman, she she got angry at you. Yes, that's and, right. You got some very bad-tempered people on and we had to sort them out. Yes, it's, it's, it's disgusting what happens nowadays. Shocking, but lovely to hear you and a big dinky-doo. A big thank you do to you. Top man. There we are. Fantastic. You live with Scottish phone in? Who's that? Hello, my name is Anne Robinson. No, don't give us your name out. We don't need your second name. We just wanted to know. Uh, I agree 100% political situation in the UK is a poor show. So there we are. Absolutely, Lola. There is no doubt about that, I would say. Now then, what do we got here? 
You live in Scotty's phone in? Who's that? Um, Scotty, uh, one, um, one of your recent videos, you were talking about fat people and how some are happy and some aren't. Yes, I don't think that's a recent video. I think that's quite an old video, to be quite honest with you. I don't think I've done anything about that recently. So there we have it. Now then, how are we doing for time? My goodness me, I have to go. Dinky-doo. <laughs> that's our 